Hello everybody. What we see here is the resonant side of my snare drum. I show you this because I welcome you to a workshop. I haven't done a workshop a really really long time but now I have the time to do it. What I am gonna do in this workshop is to show you how I get the typical snare response that I have for my main snare drum. For me it is absolutely very very important that the snare wires have a complete response in all dynamic ranges. So it means even the lightest touch of the better head must be filled up by the snare wires. And how I can achieve that. Well, first of all, as you can see it, I have here the plastic straps. And that is one of the very high number of factors that take in place when I want to have the perfect snare wire definition. So the Plastic straps make sure that the entire snare wires are touching the resonant head because when I use the rope or when I use other materials to fix the snare wires into the throw off, I have the problem that the end plates can stand a little bit up. So that means only this part of the snare wires is touching the resonant head and not the full wires. And that is not okay. I want to have the full touching of the wires on my resonant head. So I have chosen the plastic straps and it helps a lot. The second factor is the snare wire position because it can be go wrong if the snare wires are not in the perfect position on the resonant head. For me it is okay when the snare wires are in that way that the end plates are mostly on the inner wall of the shell so they are perfectly positioned on the resonant head and that is the second factor. The third factor is the tuning of the resonant head which is absolutely important because the more higher I tune the resonant head the more um, easy it is to get a really good snare wire definition in all dynamic ranges. And what I'm gonna do now is to tune the resonant head of my snare drum up and test it out if it responds to my voice when I say something because that is important when I like about 50 centimeters away from the resonant head I want to hear the snare wires and that is for me the perfect snare wire response because then I have the chance that I can get the snare wire response from the lowest volume to the highest and if we put the snare wires off we can hear the resonant head is pretty deep in tuning and now I'm tuning it up. So I will begin at this screw here and then go around until I have a good snare wire response and we can 
here clearly it tunes up. So I can hear the snare wise, but it is not enough for me. So next round. So and what I'm gonna do now is really special because I will knock on the rim here. And we can hear the snare wise, which is a good sign, but it is still not enough. So next round. So, and uh, as I say something, I can hear now the snare wires a bit better. And uh, when I touch the resonant head with the screw driver, really, really, really softly, I can hear the snare wires, which is also pretty good. And uh, I will take a round and see what happens. And now I can hear the snare wires much more better than before. And that is a really, really good sign. And now I will pull them off and hear the tuning. Okay, that's good. I will go around another time once again. So starting at the screw here, once again. And uh, I can feel that I am going to crossing the line because there's a good amount on the pressure now on the screws and on the drum and uh, even when I'm speaking to you about like 50 centimeters away from the snare drum I can hear the snare wise and now, now let's see that's a good tuning I think but once again, I will take another round and starting again on the screw with the one written there. So let's do it very, very carefully because as I have explained it before, the resonant head can break. So I need to be extremely careful by doing this. And there we are again. So now I have uh, got, I got the complete um, pressure on the screws and on the lugs and on the rim and let's see what I'm getting in the tuning. That's a nice tuning actually and uh, let's see one two three there we go I can hear the snare wise and uh, I can't go much more than like that. So I really, really must be careful again. So I start again on the screw number one. And as I can feel it, I'm crossing the line. So I'm at the finish of tuning the resonant head as high as possible because then I need more pressure and then I have the problem when I tune the better head as I have said it the resonant head can break and um, 
So it's also pretty hard now. It is on a very high pressure, which is okay, I think. So let's compare that to the tuning of my lovely side snare. You can hear it, the snare wise response even to... Yeah, that is good. That is a really good tuning for my snare drum and uh, I will check it out if it is the perfect tuning that I need for my um, resonant side of my snare drum. So that is it for this um, workshop. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, we see us in the next video.